Welcome to Beaded Doilies by Shell. In this video we are doing our third corner. Um, for this you can choose either of your two remaining corners to start with and you will start at the corner. Then when you finish the corner you will sew up the side and do the fourth corner which you can use video two for closing up the fourth corner. So this will be the last video and I will show you how to start with um, corner three and then I will let you do the side and you can see video two for the last corner. So here what you want to do is you can pick either this um, connection where, where your large triangles have been connected together or this one. It doesn't matter which one you choose. I'm going to go ahead and start with this one here so I'm going to turn it towards me then I'll slip my string through it and that has it started here now we're going to go through our beads um, on either side and then cross ones we need the top bead of our large triangle and then the first support bead just next to it inside and then with the other string we will go through the top of our large triangle and the support bead just next to it inside Then we'll take both of our strings, bring them together, and we will cross our first support bead. Bring it down, making sure to keep both your strings the same length. Then we will begin with the string that is going away from where we have our connection opening so if you have it on the other side you will use this string but if it's on this side you want to use this string and we will start by going through the center um, support here then we will add our pyramid support bead then we will go through the side support over here and then we're going to come around on the outside so we want the top of the large triangle followed by the connection bead of the triangles then the top of the other large triangle and then we want to go through that support bead that's right next to the last bead we went through and now we want to go through that um, pyramid support bead we just added so that is this one here and then we are temporarily done with this string and we will begin the same process on the other string so we want the center support on this side then we'll add our last pyramid support bead and then we want the side support across And again we're going to circle around but this time we don't have the connection bead so we will need to add it so we will go through the top of this triangle then we will add the connection bead and go through the top of this triangle and then go through that support bead that's right next to the last bead we went through 
And now we're going to circle around until we're coming out this bead we just added. So that means we go through the pyramid support bead we just added, as well as the side support bead on the other side of it. And then we go through that first top bead of our tr large triangle. And we end going through the connection bead we just added. Now we go back to the other string and we need to bring it over so we're going to work our way like a little bit of an S to get over where we need to be. Start by going through that center bead of the support next to where we are. Use my, get it to pop up here. Go through that center bead. Then we will go through the pyram pyramid support bead on the other side of that center bead. And then we will come around, we'll go through the side support bead and then the top of the large triangle. the side support bead, now the large top of the large triangle, and we end by going through the connection bead we just added. And now you just need to sew up the side, and then if you need help with the fourth corner, please see video two. Um, if you have any questions, need any further help, please post, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Happy beading!